Okay. Uh. <laughs> Alright, cool. So welcome back to um, the uh, YouTube channel. I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, I'm not uploading anything about uh, the GTR today, but I want to show you guys progress on my wife's Mitsubishi and everything. And then I'll talk a little bit about what's going on with the Evo. But right now, I want to show you guys the new paint reveal. So here we go with that. The new paint that we have on the uh, Mitsubishi Lancer. Um, it's pink. The car is now in pink. As the last thing you saw, it was silver with white fenders, bumper, and the side skirts were all white. But now it is white. And I think the last time y'all saw it, it had the gold wheels on it also. Um, but yeah, this is what has changed on it. Right now, uh, first thing we talk about is the paint code. I'll do a full walk around. There's a little bit of overspray on the little rubber thing right there. I gotta clean that up, but other than that, it looks really nice. The paint, um, this paint code is actually, it's an OEM paint code, which is really cool. And it is called Mary K Pink. It's a OEM Cadillac color um, that's offered on certain Cadillacs um, from the uh, Mary K lineup and everything. But it's a beautiful pink color. This is the pink on it. And it looks beautiful. It looks really nice and uh yeah it's really cool um oh wow that's really nice yeah so with this um as you guys know this is no longer a 4b11t it's a uh 2.4 4b12 swap attached to a sad cvt but we are going to solve that shortly and i'll explain how we're going to solve that um how to make more power in this car which is really exciting um but first what we're going to talk about is uh the wheels the wheels on here are uh they're just venom wheels um these venom wheels and everything i got them on a trade uh they're basically free because i traded them for the uh the other wheels that were um uh those gold ones that were on here and the front sit pretty well <clears throat> but the rears because of the charge speed rear flares uh the rears need to be uh they need a wider fitment right now it looks all tucked but yeah other than that i mean nothing too crazy that's the instagram if you want to follow by the way good job but um yeah i don't know if it's unlocked or not it's locked but as you can see on the inside here right now well we changed on the inside and now it has the evo 10 steering wheel again because it was missing that steering wheel and uh the paddle shifters as well as you can see right there um yeah but we're gonna talk about plans for this this car is uh um uh, it's slow it's very slow and the reason it's slow is because it has a 2.4 liter naturally aspirated 4b12 in it which only makes about 168 horsepower give or take um with that being said uh we are going to change the engine out of here and this should be the first in the world to my knowledge but we are swapping out uh, uh this will no longer be any four cylinder we're getting rid of the four cylinder we're going up two cylinders we're going to a 6b 31 uh three liter v6 myvec um and where that comes from is the donor car which i just purchased and i'll show you that right now boom all right this right here <clears throat> this right here is a 2007 mitsubishi outlander uh es model all right um this is not really a special uh suv i guess i mean i like it i i really like it my wife hates it but the reason i purchased this vehicle this is the donor vehicle where i am going to be stealing its complete drivetrain uh and putting it into the evo so inside of here we have a 6b31 all right so pop the hood and as you can see i took the engine cover off but ooh, one sec there you go hard to do it one hand but as you can see three cylinders here in the front and then there's three cylinders there in the back this right here is a 6b31 this is the myvec v6 and as you can see right here doo -doo 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 -doo, you can see right there or right there three liter this right here is a three liter um yeah but this is a 6b31 this one right here makes about 220 horsepower 
and a little over 200 uh, pounds of torque on 87 gas. So um, the uh, later models where they run premium, they uh, put out 230 horsepower and uh, a little more torque. But with that being said, uh, it's a very good engine. All right, um, this one has low miles on it, a little over 100,000 miles. I just did spark plugs and coil packs on it and it's a very healthy engine and it starts right up and it pulls pretty well. And I'll upload a video of what it pulls like uh, right here. All right, you gotta check this out. My VEC on the V6 and the Mitsubishi, the 6B, sounds just like VTEC. Watch this here from a stop. Listen. <laughs> yes, but the cool part about this is basically what I'm going to be doing um, in the next video is I am going to be pulling the uh, complete um, dash off of this vehicle, uh, removing the whole dash, and I am going to uh, basically, um, I guess I'll first start by unplugging the full harness from the engine bay right here. I'm going to um, pull this engine and trans out completely, and I'm gonna uh, engine, trans, the ECU, the fuse box, everything every single thing in here i'm pulling out and i'm going to place it at the uh just in my garage for a bit and then uh basically i'm going to pull the dash out of the evo over there <laughs> and uh yeah and we i am basically going to swap everything from here into the evo so that underneath that evo body it will believe that it's a outlander and the benefits of why i would be doing this is a lot of y'all would say hey 4b11 t the 4b11 t is not a uh cheap engine all right it's not a cheap engine um you'd be lucky like for me to reconvert uh that evo back to an evo it would cost a lot of money a lot of money like at least more than five grand and that's just being nice like the cheapest rally art i've seen um to make it sst is uh around like five grand and even then they have bad sst transmissions so i'd have to spend more money to get that rebuilt and once it's rebuilt it'd be a great transmission but that's way too much money to get it uh running and driving again with the evo drivetrain but i don't really care um versus this this whole donor only cost me 850 dollars uh, and uh it came with everything i need to swap into that chassis and get it running and driving and this will put out around like t uh, a few horsepower less than uh the uh, rally art but you're gonna have a bigger displacement and then once we get it uh tuned full exhaust all that crap it's gonna make a little more power than a stock rally art and it will have a more reliable transmission uh this transmission in here is a six speed automatic transmission um so six speed auto um with the sportronic from mitsubishi so you have the paddle shifters or the uh, console shifter where you can shift it if you don't know if you have a mitsubishi with the 4b11 or 4b12 that's an automatic uh it is you only get a cvt with sportronic which isn't a real transmission it doesn't have, really have gears so yeah but I will be using the four, uh, the 6B31 out of here. Um, yeah, basically the whole swap list, I will go over it as I go, but I'm going to be using everything. Ideally, the main key points are the rear sub or the front subframe and uh, using all the mounts and everything and um, the radiator, radiator hoses. And yeah, and basically it will, uh, it's just a plug and play swap essentially. I just have to empty out the Evo and get it ready for uh, its new drivetrain but it's exciting and i'm going to show you uh um on the inside here um it looks very similar to if you have a lancer and you were to look at the steering wheel the steering wheel looks extremely similar to you because it's the same as the lancer um if you look and uh the cluster the cluster even looks extremely similar to the lancer I am going to be using, uh, I don't believe the cluster is uh, serialized and everything, so I'm probably gonna use the cluster out of the Evo um, because I like the Evo cluster better. Um, but I will use this cluster um, just to get the swap running, and after the swap is running and driving, I'll swap back to the Evo cluster. But 
as you can see down here it's the sportronic and everything works the same this is the interior of it it's pretty clean and uh the 4b12 with the cvt i'm going to swap that inside of uh here after i pull everything out of here but i'm going to pull out the uh um the full dash off here and basically i'm going to pull the harness out and i'm going to pull the uh tcm out the ecm out in the engine bay all that and transfer it over to the evo and yeah and it will turn out pretty fine and i'll start this one up so you can hear it it starts up pretty well too if you listen to it check this out do 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 uh oh sexy red and then starts starts right up and it's quiet oh man i'm getting bit by the skeeters right now this is not fun but starts right up things quiet like a freaking sewing machine or something nice and quiet 220 horsepower v6 and this one is the front wheel drive outlander the reason i got front wheel drive is because it's less work uh when i swap it into the evo since the Evo is on Raven curved, front, converted to front wheel drive, I just got to swap subframes, mounts, harness, ECM, TCM, etc. And then, yeah, it's going to swap everything over there completely the same, just with a better engine. And I'm probably going to have to change intakes, I believe. Uh, I'll probably have to change this intake box or some crap, but other than that, um, pretty much the same. But this is the drivetrain that's going inside of the Evo. So this should be. To my knowledge maybe the world's first v6 evo x that is i've seen some uh, um i have seen some uh what do you call it uh evo eights nines whatever and even some old rally arts they have done the 6g swaps but to my knowledge this should be the first 6b swapped evo um x or evo in general maybe maybe because nobody does this swap inside of an evo but with that being said this swap the 6b the reason i'm doing this and i'm gonna document it as best as i can is to open up a platform for people to do this swap they have lancers that have the 4b11 with the regular cvt and they want more power that's a uh you know instant power that's not a 4b11 swap so this would be a good alternate um swap to the 4b11 t and a lot cheaper so um yeah that's why we're gonna do this um probably a little harder to maintain spark plug wise and coal pack wise you just gotta remove the intake manifold but other than that i mean nothing too crazy uh this should be a really cool swap and i'm excited to do it but v6 evo if you're here for the ride let's get it you know um that's pretty much all I have for y'all right now but i appreciate y'all um watching in and everything and i hope that this will be a build that you guys like and it's going inside this very pretty evo here i kind of wish i would have swapped it before i got the evo painted but uh <laughs> it's okay i'm just gonna remove the bumper off the hood the headlights and the uh um fenders and that way i don't mess up anything but yeah but yeah, guys, it's gonna be really cool. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And um, thanks for watching. And I will see y'all in the next video. So bye.